Hello my dear students, this is Chetan sir. Today I am going to start with my new episode of class 12 physics. So, which is first chapter of the class 12 physics, that is electric charges and fields. Before proceeding to the first chapter, let us have some brief idea regarding the class 12 syllabus of physics. And I want to contain all class 12 physics syllabus into single term, electromagnetism. And I will establish the relation between electromagnetism as well as the 15 chapters of the class 12 physics. So let us see. Here I have given the mark, arrow mark to the electromagnetism. Now I am going to show how all 15 chapter is connected with the single term electromagnetism. Basically what do you mean by electromagnetism? It is the branch of physics that deals with the electricity magnetism, interconvergence, interactions. So before going to these four terms, let us see what electromagnetism means for in general. If we see the single term electromagnetism, we will come to the conclusion that the single term is made up with the two different terms. One is electro which refers for electricity and the one is magnetism the magnetic property of a any material that is magnetism now <clears throat> let us go one by one so electricity it is one of the main category of the electromagnetism now electricity again divided into two parts one is electro statics Another one is current electricity. Now, what do you mean by electricity? Electricity is nothing but it is a branch. Branch of what? Electromagnetism. That deals with the electric charges and its effects. What kind of effect, effects it is? If we put our finger into the socket of electrical connection, electrical circuits, we will feel electric shock. So it is nothing but simply electricity. Okay. So we are studying about electric charges as well as its electrical effects. So that branch is called as electricity. Now electricity branch again splitted into two main categories. First one is electrostatics. It is the branch that deals with the charges are at rest. Now the second main category is current electricity which is the branch of electricity that deals with the charges are in motion. Fine. So again if I break the electrostatics into two chapters those will be first chapter is electric charges and fields which is our main focus of today's episode. So electric charges and field is the first chapter which is connected with the electrostatics. It means that in electric charges and fields we are going to study about charges at rest. Second chapter electric potential and capacitance. So here again we are observing the same thing. The charges are at rest. We are going to observe in the same second chapter. The third current electricity. So here we are going to observe that charges are in motion. Charges are in motion. In both cases charges will be at rest. Fine. So three chapters are over which is connected with the electricity. The fourth one when the charges will begin to move over the conductor which is nothing but moving charges and that produces the property of magnetism 
the fourth chapter is nothing but moving charges and magnetism and what is fifth chapter we are going to study about specifically magnet okay natural as well as artificial so magnetism and matter how the more magnetic property materials going to act and how the less magnetic property material will be going to act that is nothing but the fifth chapter magnetism and matter now we are going to come for the interconversion so when a magnet is taken and it introduced <coughs> into introduced into a coil with to and fro motion okay so this gives rise to what this gives rise to electro magnetic induction what is this this is nothing but the sixth chapter of our syllabus now what is the seventh chapter that is alternating current what is alternating current whenever whenever electric fields begins to move okay the here if this is electric field begins to move the perpendicular magnetic fields will be going to generate okay by the help of electric field not by itself so with the help of electric fields you are going to have perpendicular magnetic field so magnetic field will be going to again to proceed electric field in further direction so both will sustain each other and the direction of this wave will be going to progress till infinite distance so this this type of electric and magnetic field flow is called as alternating current so this is nothing but seventh chapter okay so <clears throat> till now i have drawn seven chapter from the electromagnetism concept now when i make interaction of the electromagnetic wave with the different types of material for example i'll take electricity okay electricity and when the electricity will be going to pass through the tungsten okay so what it will give it will produces electro magnetic waves okay now this is eighth chapter again when electromagnetic waves is interacted with the macroscopic objects what we will going to have we will be going to have the nature of <clears throat> light and its form okay so this nature of light and its form we are going to study by interacting electromagnetic waves for example visible light when we interact with the macroscopic objects we will have two branches one is ray optics and the one is wave optics fine therefore again when the same electromagnetic waves is interacting with the microscopic objects fine so we are going to have the reflection reflection of photo electrons so such type of phenomena will be going to give rise to radiation of matter like chapters okay so this is nothing but uh, ray optics is the ninth chapter 
free optics is the 10th chapter, radiation of matter is the 11th chapter. And when again, the electromagnetic waves interacts with the atoms. So, it will uh, show the internal symmetry of atoms as well as uh, subatomic particle sizes like nuclei means proton size, electron size, the distance between nuclei and electron and the radius of atom can be studied in this chapter nuclei. Fine. So as well as when we interact light with the atoms, it will show the internal symmetry of atoms. So atom is the 12th chapter, nuclei is the 13th chapter. So till now we came to know that 13th chapter, 13 chapters can be drawn from this single concept electromagnetism. Now the 14th one is semiconductor. So let me show you when electricity is passed through, you know, uh, different types of materials. <coughs> different types of materials through which we came to know that the amount of charges flowing through one specific type of material through which it is in greater amount if the amount of charges which are flowing through specific material is in greater amount such type of materials are called as superconductors and some types of materials which allow electric charges to flow through it okay electricity to flow through it in considerable amount such material such materials are called as conductors okay and some specific type of materials which allows partial electricity see this term partial amount of electricity okay partial amount of electricity we usually call such type of materials as semiconductors and some other types of material which do not allow electricity to pass through it okay so such materials are called as insulators okay so this semiconductor term is the 14th chapter of the class 12 physics labs and which one is the 15th one when when electromagnetic waves when electro magnetic waves okay move in between sender and receiver okay there will be a establishment of a system through which you are going to send electrical signal okay this type of connection this type of connecting to one another between sender and receiver is called as communication Okay. and the whole system is called as communication system fine so here we are using the electromagnetic waves which is interacting with the space okay sky through which the electric signal is passing on a carrier wave between sender and receiver so we are establishing a system in between sender and receiver and that type of system is called as communication system So this is 15th chapter. So through this concept map, once you see, okay, through this concept map, we establish, okay, successfully the relation between electromagnetism and all other 15 chapters of class 12 physics. So we can proceed now to the electric charges and fields. But this idea gave us a perfect, you know, content of the class 12. How we establish the relation between a single concept and all the chapters. It means that the whole class 12 physics is 
covering is covering into the electromagnetism concept.